Welcome, my name is Colleen Tauke and I'm a sewing specialist here at Fonz & Porter. In this Quilting Quickly tutorial, I'm going to show you how to put together the blocks in the quilt called Cozy Bear. If you'd like to purchase our pattern, please visit our website. We're going to be using this really great collection of really warm, wintry looking prints, so it makes you just want to curl up with a cup of hot chocolate and watch a movie. The, the fabrics here, we're going to be having you cut different sizes. There are a couple of fabrics that you'll want to sort through. Now, the collection here has the golds in them, and a darker gold has been pulled out kind of as the signature for the centers. Not just one, but a couple of different golds, as you can see in the quilt behind me. And then the lighter gold has always been used to kind of set aside for these four positions within the block. Kind of try to create a little bit of organization. Then the outer edge is a mix of browns and greens and reds, blacks. So from those uh, two and a half inch pre-cut strips, you're going to follow your instructions to cut squares and two sizes of rectangles. So once you have the number of pieces cut, it's time to kind of become creative. So what we're going to do, I'll leave this to the side. The darker gold is kind of set as the center, like I said. And then we're going to be creating kind of each block as we go along. So we've got lighter golds, that we're, squares that we're going to lay in up here. And then the fun part begins. You get to dig into your pieces and you can kind of create a great combination of colors. Now I've got ones that match my original block, but I would be using these two different sizes of um, sizes of rectangles to create the blocks. Now the fun part is that you really kind of need to follow the diagrams because when I was first making my step outs, I kept thinking, which direction does that go? But there's a pattern to it. Once I lay these out, you'll see the rectangles, the long bar, and it shifts as it goes around the block so that we create this. And then when we get everything in place, then it's to break it apart and make the units. So what we're really going after are units that look like this. We're not worrying about the center square at this point. We're just making the units that float around it. So what we're going to be doing is you would pick up, um, all of a sudden my brain goes to sleep. We're putting a square with a small rectangle. We're seaming here, opening it up, pressing, and then adding the long bar. So, in place of this, now we have that simple unit that I talked about that looks like this. And you're going to repeat that skill all the way around. Each of the units is the same, same um, configuration, just different prints. So, I'm going to replace all of these. The nice part is once you get that block created and laid out the way you want it to be, then you can keep creating these units And you'll see that they're broken apart, just like the diagram will be in your, in your pattern. But then you say, how do I put this together? It's going to take a partial seam to get us started. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to take that center square. We're going to add it to one of the blocks, because we want to create a long seam here that then we can join a unit to. But we don't want to sew all of it. It's called a partial seam for a reason. We just want to sew about half of this. So I'm going to take it to the sewing machine. And I'm just going to sew about halfway down from the top edge into that, where that square is at. That center square. Whoops. My sewing machine set for a quarter inch seam. And we're going to sew just halfway down. Cut thread. And then take it out. Now, I'm going to lay it back in position so you can see what I'm doing. I only have half the seam sewn. I'm going to open this up. I'm just going to finger press to start. Then I'm going to add this unit. Right sides together. If you've sewn everything, this is the right length. Now we're going to take it back to the sewing machine. This is kind of a back and forth, so you want to create your blocks or have them on a board or a cutting mat that you could take right next to your sewing machine. And everybody will wonder how you got that little square in the center of your block. Okay. Get across that. It's a good project. It uses the two and a half inch square really efficiently. You aren't going to waste any fabric in the construction of this um, project. We'll get going here a little faster. It would be a fun project to do with um, a 
team member, so you've had a quilt friend or if you were teaching someone to quilt because it's all straight seams. Now you'll notice we've got the position, the seam ready to go here. So we're going to add the second one. And you could also even have, um, if you're a young person you want to teach to sew, this would be a fun time for them to play with the color combinations of lights and darks and how all that goes together so they can experiment and have some fun. Okay, make sure my edges stay lined up. Go right through that quarter inch seam nicely. Okay, and we're going to construct this whole block out. Now, if I open that up, I'm going to finger press that seam open. Now you can take that to, to the iron and iron it if you want, but because of time we're just going to finger press. Now, we need to put this last one in place, and you'll see that's why we wanted that seam to be open. I need access to the end of that block. So now I pick up this edge, take it to the machine. This also might be a really good project for um, a retreat. You could, if you've got all of your pieces cut in advance, it would be an easy one since everything is rectangles. And if you had them all stacked up ready to go, you could have fun, still have free enough time to chat with your quilt friend and still be able to sew and make sense of your blocks. Okay, this is that last piece. We're opening it up, pressing out, last side. See, here's where that partial seam was. Break it apart right there. So now I can lay this in position and line it up to get that last seam put in and now you've accomplished what we call a partial seam or a set-in seam. Finish up, just overlap the stitching, just a two or three stitches from where you started or put that little square in. I overlapped right there and then when I'm all done, I open up and I have a block ready to go for my quilt that matches my original. Now, in the positioning of the blocks, you'll notice that there's always a, let's see, a long bar is the, the top corner of the block. So they're put block to block like this throughout the quilt. And a simple inner border, which here is picked a, a bright gold, so it kind of sets off that center, and then come back out with a really warm brown on the outside edge, and you've got your own cozy comfort quilt ready to go. Thanks for joining me today. Cozy Bear is a fun one. Join me again for other Quilting Quickly tutorials. <laughs>